Good morning year 8, welcome to our lesson on brown eyes and blue eyes. So um, it's a fairly straightforward but hopefully a deep thinking lesson where you're going to have to really think about some things. So year 8 students, due to pioneering research proving that blue eyed people are academically and biologically inferior to those with brown eyes, the school has made a number of small changes to the structure of your lessons. Okay. Now we haven't done this really, it's a hypothetical situation. So academically inferior means you do less well at school. So it's saying that people with blue eyes are not as clever. Okay. And then biologically inferior means their bodies aren't as good, so they're not as strong, they're not as healthy. Okay. So what we're saying here then is that people with blue eyes are, are not nearly as good as people with brown eyes. They're stupid and uh, weak and things like that. Okay, so assuming this research was true, what are the rules that have come into place? So remember now, brown eyes are better than blue eyes. So rule number one, all people with brown eyes must be served before blue eyes at break and lunch times. Rule number two, blue eyes must never be seated before brown eyes. Rule number three, blue eyes must not speak or socialise with people with brown eyes. Rule number four, Blue eyes must wear an identification sticker at all times. So a badge that says blue eyed person. Okay. Rule number five, blue eyes will not be entered for academic study, so they won't do exams, and must attend longer school days from eight in the morning till five at night to ensure that they fully understand all the work that's set. So, people with brown eyes or close to brown will continue to benefit from a free education and all of the luxuries that being a superior member of society entails. Okay, so they'll be treated better the whole time. People with blue eyes or close to blue will live separate lives. They'll be separated away. They won't be allowed to go to the same shops and things like that as the rest of us. Okay, so... I want you to think carefully about this then. So how did you feel when you read through that, sh that, that PowerPoint slide? What issues can you spot with that? Uh, so is there anything wrong with that theory? Is there anything wrong with those rules? And what questions have you got that you want to ask? So I'd like you to pause now. And again, you can rewind and you can forward wind so you can see both of those slides. I want you to write down your answers to each of the three questions on the board. So pause the video and do that now. Welcome back. So. Brown eyes then, are any of your friends in the other group? So if you've got brown eyes yourself, do you know anybody? Have you got good friends who have got blue eyes? Okay, how does it make you feel to know that your blue eyed friends are going to be treated so badly? Are you supportive of the new blue eyed system or outraged and angry? Okay, what do you think about that? On the opposite side then, blue eyes. Have any of your friends got brown eyes and now they're suddenly better than you? How does that make you feel? How do you feel you're being treated as, a, as an individual person? And what are the options for you blue-eyed people as a group if this really happened? Okay, so I want you to have a think about those things first of all. And depending on your own eye colour, work through those questions and write some ideas down. And then your follow-up questions, does your eye colour have anything to do with how intelligent or creative we are? I don't know. Um, certainly they talk about left-handed people and right-handed people and which side of the brain that you use. Maybe eye colour does have something, I don't know. Um, all blue-eyed people are the same. Are they? Really? Is it okay to say anybody with blue eyes is stupid? And how can we connect this idea of eye colour to racism in society? So again, pause this video and work through those questions now. Okay, so... The reason that we're doing this today is because actually, in real life, lots of decisions have been made about whole groups of people because it's something just as ridiculous as their eye colour. If it's ridiculous to us that people with blue eyes are treated so badly, why is it okay that people with black skin or brown skin are treated differently? And we know, certainly from 2020 and all the Black Lives Matter stuff in America, we know that that still goes on. Okay, um, it's we have made good progress, but back not long ago, there were places. So the the slide on the board talks about District Six, which is a real place in South Africa, um, and basically you were told you had to live there if you were black. You were told you couldn't, uh, you know, you had to had to move out of your houses and move to this particular area. Okay, um, and 
that was just it that was your life over and you, you didn't get proper houses you had to make them out of rubbish all sorts of things like that okay um you know i think probably of rosa parks in america uh the woman who sat down on the bus and wouldn't move she wasn't supposed to sit down because she was black and only white people were allowed to sit down and she refused and she was dragged off that bus and beaten nearly to death but as a result raised so much awareness that things started to change okay um so it's interesting to think well we can talk about this eye color business and think it's really silly think it's really daft that suddenly fred's cleverer than sally you know but actually um how does that work out it really happened okay so just some thought-provoking things to think about for today if you want me to see your answers to this i'd be very interested um but that's it for today and we'll see you next lesson take care